Okay. Uh, I want to congratulate you. My God, you did a great job on this. And I want to ask you, when did it really hit you that this was such a huge deal? Uh, after I finished shooting it, to be honest. Um, um, I, I think when it really hit was at uh, this thing called Comic-Con in San Diego, which is a kind of fantasy uh, enthusiast thing. And um, I literally had no idea. I'd seen stuff on the internet and stuff, but walking into a, into a, a room where they just projected the word Twilight and yeah. 7,000 people just screamed, like, I just could not stop screaming. Mm. And, I just, and I just remember standing backstage thinking, like, what? <laughs> like, and being terrified as I was walking up and just thinking, like, yeah. I had no idea this was coming at all. Thousands like, of people slept out for that. I know. Yeah. It's just, that was literally the first time. I, I, I had no idea up until that point. Yeah, insane. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you take on this role and... I just want to know how you found your inner vampire. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I guess I just wasn't really playing it as a vampire. I mean, yeah. I just kind of abandoned it. I mean, I just thought he was... I was trying to play it as just an old guy. <laughs> like, that was it. I mean, I, that was what I found the most interesting thing. Yeah. Just, just an old man who just feels like he has nothing to live for. <laughs> and that's it. And I, I, yeah, I thought that was really sweet that he finds this this girl and was it hard to keep him lighter though because i understand Catherine had to pull you back a little bit yeah that was yeah i mean it's funny how it's, everyone's saying it's light a lot of people are coming like I, I really wanted to make it really really dark yeah. and uh i think but in the book i guess he's just i mean i got to a point in my head where i was thinking this guy's permanently suicidal and um yeah and, but in the book, he's, he isn't really, he's kind of making these little quips, like he drives around his Aston Martin, he's very suave and confident. And there are little moments where he's really depressed, but mm. I want him to play him depressed the entire time, even at the end, just one note <laughs> the whole way through the movie. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I guess it, it's easier to, when you go into work and you can kind of be lighter. Like, yeah. It's just not so much of a stress all the time. When did you know you clicked with Kristen? I guess in the audition. She was, that was the reason I wanted to do it. Just kind of, I mean, I had no idea what it was. I had no idea really how to play it or anything. I had not even a real interest in the script, to be honest. And then I kind of, I went in and whatever happened in the audition, I mean, I kind of, I just had felt some sort of uh, idea. I mean, just, just sort of doing it with her, I got, I got ideas. And so I was like, okay. I it's very to. magical, yeah, the two of you on screen. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, it really is. Um, you know, living up to these books and, and playing Edward, it's a big deal. I mean, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. there's tons and tons of fans. And he's described in the book as he's so beautiful, it kind of hurts to look at him. Mm -hmm. When you look in the mirror, does it hurt? It does hurt, but not for that reason. <laughs> How do you really that? this morning, I was like, oh, my head. <laughs> but living up, that, that's pretty, you know, that's, that's a tough description to live up to, huh? It is. I mean, that's what I, I got sent the book about five months before... Um, the audition, um, and they were, they were saying, read it, and I could do a tape in London and send it. And add to the thing, but they're saying, so it hurts to look at him. Last year I was really fat as well, <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> just kind of like, why are you even bothering to ask me to read this thing? I mean, it was just, it was, I don't know, it was kind of, it was kind of embarrassing to even go into the audition. Yeah. Just even thinking you have a chance is embarrassing, but uh, yeah. This is pretty well going to catapult you into kind of rock star, superstar status. What's it been like? You've been doing some mall tours. You've been meeting these bands, Comic-Con. What? How do you control this? How do you feel about all of this? I don't know. I, re I haven't really left the Twilight bubble. I'm really scared, but when I go to London, I'm just hanging out with my friends. I just be like, so then you want to ask me how it feels to be the most beautiful guy in the world? <laughs> <laughs> ask me how it feels. <laughs> Uh, Good for your ego. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what I'll be able to talk about when I get back. I've been doing this for so long. Yeah. And you've done an uh, awesome song on the soundtrack, too. Wow, where is this all coming from? You're, all these talents are coming uh, out, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I was doing, that's what I was doing. I was going to give up acting last year, and I just, um, I was doing music. And the song was just one of the songs I wrote with a friend of mine uh, last year. It's in my little apartment in London. And, uh, and then Catherine had a, had a CD of stuff I recorded on my computer. And it was, uh, I wasn't intending to release them or anything. It was just, I think Nikki Reed gave, yeah. gave the CD to her. And she just put it in the cut. And I was, I didn't even think about it. There wasn't even as much hype then. 
And I kind of, I didn't even think it would be on the soundtrack. I just thought, yeah, okay. Well, congratulations to you. Like I say, you've Thank done you. a spectacular job. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Hold you to it. Congratulations. Thanks Great meeting you. you.